What's up guys, it's Isaac and welcome back to another ant keeping tutorial. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Poganomermex barbatus or the red harvester ant. So these ants are basically the ants I have below but just much bigger and mainly completely red. I say mainly because if you find them in some places they'll have a black abdomen like these guys here. And these are Pogonomex californicus. So they are uh, one of the smallest harvester ants, comparing to Barbatus, that is. And so, like I always like to do, I like to get started with the nutrition and the diet of the ant before anything else. So these guys are harvester ants, meaning they eat seeds. So as you can see, I have a nice seed pile and that has mainly amaranth seeds, the small yellowish white ones you see. And if you look closely, you could see some smaller navy blue ones. Those are, I think they're poppy seeds. And also I have some crickets here because like always ants love to eat their insect proteins I guess and not just seeds because if you just feed your ant seeds they're not gonna grow as quickly as you probably would want them to and feeding them insects is a much higher like gives them a lot more protein and is easier for the larva to eat so now moving on to the more detailed things so if you're from a cold place, like they get snow in the winter, then you would want to hibernate them for maybe about three to six months, mainly starting at around the beginning of winter and ending around spring. So if you're new to ant keeping, you need to hibernate your ants because that gives them a more, uh, like more bigger time to rest before going out and working really, really hard for six months. And it also gives the queen a break from laying eggs and she's able to just, again, just rest and um, kind of give her body a refresh, kind of. And for digging, as far as I know, Pognomermex barbatus do pretty well in test tubes, but like most harvester ants, they don't do amazing in acrylic or um, like 3D print, 3D printed stuff. So uh, digging would be best, like having some kind of digging medium for them, like sand or a sand uh, clay mixture, because just sand alone, if the sand dries out, it'll collapse on, all, uh, on the ants and the colony will die. So, if you're from somewhere in Europe, sand clay is easy to find just on any website. Or not any website, but any ant keeping website, you can find some. And now for the water or sugars. So, like any ant, be sure to leave some sort of water source. Harvester ants really are sensitive when it comes to touching water right on. Like, from their mouth parts to the water. So maybe some sort of test tube will be ideal for harvester ants because putting a, putting some cotton into the water and just submerging it just a tiny bit to where there's just a little bit of water in front of the cotton. Uh, this helps the ants able to drink and not die of dehydration. dehydration. And Pognomermex barbatus love their sweets. They, I've seen them drink honey and sugar water and hummingbird nectar. In my opinion, these are probably my favorite ants. I don't keep them, but I've had, I have seen a lot about them and these guys seem really fun to keep. So, if you have any more questions, be sure to leave them in the comments 
So that's going to be the end of today's video. Like always, please go check out Ant Shack. I have a link to them in the description. And I have a link to some good, uh, good seed mixture for ants. Also in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Hit the bell button. And I'll see you guys next time. Luxor's Ants, out.